Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and this is the follow-up review vlog for uh, the Guardian Legend for the NES, um, which is kind of redundant. I already did, like, a full review back in 2010, but, you know, with web spaces being how they are, it's hard to find. Um, I mean, not for me. I've got the original copy, but um, it's just been a pain in the ass to get it a good space. I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and get it somewhere um, if you guys want to look at that. But uh, after playing through it again... Uh, all the way through, showing it to you guys all the way through instead of just like little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I gotta say, it is fun as hell. Uh, tough as balls in places. Holy shit. Um, you know, and, and even if you play everything right, sometimes it just comes down to a, a case of luck, you know? Sometimes the enemies will stay a little second too much longer. You, If you're one pixel off, you, take, you get like a whole shit ton of damage done to you to, you, to where you're nearly dead. Uh... You know, and that's part of that's part of the difficulty behind it, uh, for good or for bad. Um, you and and usually when I like go and play through the game, I will abuse the hell out of enemy erasers. <laughs> I, I didn't in this playthrough because I wanted to make it a little bit more exciting and a little bit more fun. And well, you gotta make sure epileptics watching aren't gonna you know don't don't have anything too bad happen to them. I, they don't they don't flash at at that uh, amount of speed, but um but you know you know it never hurts to be careful. Um, but yeah, enemy erasers, if you manage, if you get lucky enough to have a whole bunch of them, or if you use a code that gives you, like, infinite enemy erasers, they break the game. <laughs> um, and fun fact, the uh, last video that I did, which went up yesterday, uh, it, it actually uh, took me a couple of tries to actually get the recording done. First one I did, I got to that last final boss, and and I just ended up dying, and, uh, and at that point I was just frustrated as hell. I was like, fuck it! So I started it again, and you well, you see the end result there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and if you hear people in the background, we got family over there doing things, and apparently one, one kid didn't know I was doing this. Little inside baseball. Mm, fun. Um, but no, where was I? Okay, Guardian Legend. Fun game. Uh, if you have a chance, go check it out. Um, I don't think it's on any virtual console things, but... Um, but you know, if you happen to be at like a flea market or use game store or whatever, you see it, pick it up, pick it up with like a, a you know some kind of console that can use it, use it, uh, either an original NES or I think um, oh, what are they called? Uh, the, the, the the newer ones that can play like multiple systems or whatever. Uh, Retrons, that's that's what they are. You know, like a Retron as well. You know, get those, play those, and there you go. It's fun. And if all sales, you can always emulate it like I do. But then again, I emulate because I have no other way of capturing the recordings. So. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, getting the recording software, you know, the capturing software is kind of a pain and a little expensive. Um, and, and, you know, when I did, when I was driving, I, I did have a few other priorities first, like upgrading, you know, the microphone and the, and the, uh, camera, you know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that, that's enough about that. At the end, Guardian Legend, play it, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you like just shoot 'em ups, but don't want and and all of that, and you still want to play it, PGL, there you go, um, and there you go. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's that's my final thoughts on the Guardian Legend. Take care, everybody, and until next time, this is Gomer, the ranting thespian, signing off. <laughs>